<laughs> so Niv, we are obviously in Marbella as we've discussed, but like, so you've been how long in Poppy? <sighs> 14 years, must 14 be. 14 years? Yeah, yeah. Not Two. as long as I thought. Um, and how long ago were you able to earn money without being in the UK where your properties are based? And decent money, probably 20, uh, 2015, 2015. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't even 10k a month. I know I was saying even, it's 10k a month, yeah. a lot of money, but most people aim for 10k a month. And that's all from property income, yeah? So no, it was like 5k a month, 2014, 2015, yeah. Okay. 5k a month, plus I had a job in Dubai. Just, I've never had a good job. It's yeah. just always been like... Um, you know, basic jobs, but yeah. Um, so that was adding to my salary. So I was yeah. on about 7K a month. Okay. Came back, grew the business, and obviously, yeah, then I've been financially free. Well, I was financially free at 10K, really. Yeah. But nice. my the expenses go up as well. Yeah, always. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we were talking about that before. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You, you like nicer mm. things, you like doing more. Not expensive. I mean, got a got garden there, got cars, got, you know, yeah. at holidays. It's, it's crazy. What, what I would say, though, is uh, the UK's a bit of a ripper. Oh, I know that. So like, yeah, obviously, but like, you know, my electric bill here, yeah. it's like 30 quid, 30 euros a month. Uh? Pool, all the no villa way. gates, 30 euros a month. Mine's nearly 500 pounds a month. In the UK, Africa. right? Same. Yeah, 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 it's mad. But, uh... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> They're looking at behind the camera like, what are you spending? <laughs> um, but yeah, so but I've spoken a lot about like, not just financial freedom, that, that's everyone's goal initially, yeah. but I think yeah. it's a weird term anyway. Yeah, because you're never financially free if you keep buying stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you're not going to retire at 30s, are you? Really? Yeah, unless you hate what you do. Which, yeah, which well, no one, I, I don't. Retire, no, like, no. It's just no, I love what it. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for me, freedom in terms of location is more important for me. I'd rather be at work elsewhere and earn my money still, but be able to do that anywhere in the world. Yeah, yeah. And how, how would you have... Would you have set your business up differently to create that location freedom earlier? Or, you know, what would you, if somebody looks at property and goes, I want it so that I can be free to go wherever I want, whenever I want, well, what tips would you give people to get, um, to, to set up there? Because it has to be set up in a different way, right? You can't just... Yeah, I think you need to be clear on goals before you start in property, but I think property can be passive. Mm -hmm. If you systemize it and you have the end goal in sight, and obviously one of the main things I don't do is um, I'm not actively doing development or massive refurbs, which people say you can not be there, but in reality, you, builders will take the mic if you're not yeah. there. So I don't really do that. I do more of the fast, um, lazy money, which is like uh, buy something, sell it without touching it, make a quick 10, 20K, or just live off my rental income as well. Yeah. Uh, but you need good teams, you need good people around you, you need systems, you need confidence. You need to still work here, Right, it's deleted me on the end of the phone. I've got it here while we're talking, yeah. right? Um, and I, as you saw earlier when we was at the cafe, I was on my laptop. Yeah. So, but it's a joy working here. Do you know what I mean? It's so different. 100%. And you don't want to be... I've tried it, mate. I was here after lockdown. Literally did nothing for two years. I uh, went to the beach, went to restaurants tr twice a day. You feel um, you're missing something. If you love what you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you love what you... I love property, so I missed it. Mm. And I actually, my business actually went downhill because of that. So, uh, yeah, so, you know, location freedom is amazing. Work from anywhere, I can go on holiday, wherever. But at the same time, um, it's good to be able to work in the business when you choose to as well, right? So tell, us, tell us about the lazy money. Lazy money is, um, there's different ways to skin a cat, right? Yeah. So lazy money is, I won't, as I'm here, I won't do a massive refurb in the UK. I'd rather put it into auction or a quick trade, make 20K instead of making 40. But I've got a chunk of my time back and I'm here. Yeah. Right? Um, and passive income as well. How do you find, like, so, so what are you looking for there? If you're looking for a deal that you can trade on quick, how are you finding that deal for cheaper than it should be? Um, just time in the market. I know networking, and my network's amazing, um, consistency. So every agent I've deal with, I've always bought the property, so they always come to me first. Deal with off-market companies, uh, you know, like um, cash buying companies. We buy ca for cash ourselves. So we get loads, of, we get more deals than we can deal with. So that's why I've got clients as well. So I give them deals. Love it. Um, but lazy money as well is building the business where I've got passive income from rental income, yeah. which only needs a managing team in the UK, like a 
10% they get. And um, some people moan about 10%, would you believe it? Some of my clients, they're like, I don't want to give away 10%. Mate, 10%, it's like 200 quid on two grand yeah. and you can be here, no headache. Yeah. Why, why wouldn't you? Yeah, you know I, think, I, mean? I think that's the thing as well. People, I, I hate the term sweat the asset. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, yeah, when, yeah. People, that's when you see people stuck in a development for five years because they're trying to get the maximum, maximum, whereas they could have been in and out of that six months. You lose five years of your, five years yeah. of stress. You can't be here all the time. You've got to fly back and two. You can't, well, I'm not always here. I'm sometimes in Dubai, sometimes Colombia. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, it, time goes so fast and you want to enjoy it, right? So, 100%. So, for, uh, you like the finer things. You've got cars, watches, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. For me, I find it really hard to splurge on stuff knowing I could put that money. Sat there with a Rolex on. Yeah. I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I find it like, because I want to know. No, I know, I know. I'm like, yeah, but I can't yeah. bring myself to do it. Yeah. Um, and then monthlies with cars and stuff. I'm yeah. like, that could go into that. Yeah. And I yeah. can make more money. Like, yeah. how. How have you managed to separate, well, I deserve to buy these nice things? And the second part of that question is, how do these nicer things that you have actually get you more business than without them? Um, see the clip the other day, I don't rev my car for brokies, right? <laughs> <laughs> and literally, that's what it is, crackheads and kids, which I don't mind. Kids all yeah. day like take pictures with it and stuff. But for me, I've always been into cars, so it's been nice to... Um, achieve that dream and I never thought I'd be able to pick any car and stuff like that. I don't go mad, I'm not going to go and bang it 900 grand on a Bugatti, do you know what I mean? Whereas I actually could, right? But within reason, but it all scales up as well. Yeah. And uh, the other day I was thinking, bloody hell, like, I bought a car for 250 grand, quarter of a mil on a car, like, it's mad, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just you scale up and. That's a house, don't you think? Exactly. That's what I mean. um, Being someone that's able to. Put cash into something. Yeah, return, but it's hard to then go. I'm going to put cash in that thing that won't get me any. Return. Do you know what though? No. Yeah, yeah, lo lost loads. But my residual monthly income is so good. Yeah. Well, so good comparatively, right? That um, it doesn't really make a massive difference. If that makes sense, yeah, like the really monthlies don't much. really know. I don't really notice it that much. But you're right because I'm always trying to buy houses. But then where do you stop with houses? Yeah. Because you can have a hundred houses. And in 20 years, will I be able to will I be able to enjoy all that? Probably not. That's the point, isn't yeah. it? And and like, do you set do you set yourself goals in that sense? Like, you you could buy it tomorrow, but actually, do you go? I'm going to do 10 more flips here, earn this much money, and then I'll buy it. Or do you just buy it? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. So I feel like it's a nicer way. You feel like you've earned it. Then. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. So my my um, my spending linked to my goals. Cool. Just to keep me motivated. Yeah. Not that like I need to be, but. Um, and it's not always about having it. Sometimes it's proving people wrong yeah. and um, not that it's insecurity or anything, but it's kind of like proving yourself as well. Like, oh, you couldn't make it. You couldn't. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? When I moved here, I flew, uh, not flew, I, I transported the cars here. Ferrari, Range Rover, had it outside. I've matured a bit now. I don't feel the need to do that. Yeah. Even though I miss it sometimes, I don't feel the need to do that. Yeah. But it's nice to be able to do that. But for me as well, like I want, I want another villa somewhere else now. Like I was looking in Colombia, Dubai, yeah. like, so I am actually a property guy. Like I do love property. It's yeah. not even for the money. Like, do you know what I mean? So the other stuff I can take it or leave it. Nice. Yeah. So if you were, um, a lot of our watches are going to be starting new. Uh, what I find with younger people is a lot of them start with a million pound being the goal or like this being the goal and they want to have it quick as Mate, quickly as they possibly can. Um, yeah, that's the main thing I find as well. And it's the internet. Yeah, and Forex traders and all these people that made <sighs> yeah, money yesterday. Yeah, 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 apparently. Um, it's, you can make fast money, but it's not sustainable. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, easy come, easy go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's anything that comes fast goes fast, yeah. right? It's taken me 10 years to build up a decent amount of income. Yeah, you can do it faster now, learn from my mistakes, get a mentor, blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, you've got to be realistic. Five years minimum, ten years to build an amazing business, as you know, because you've yeah. probably done it yourself. Well, yeah. you have done it yourself. So, um, the the fast money mindset is no good, um, and they get influenced by people selling that dream. But that's just marketing. They're literally hiring cars to do that. I've had people ask to hire the villa. Do you know what I mean? I've had, I've had people ask to hire my cars in the UK just to film videos. They hire jets, don't they, and sit on them and knows it. Knows it. Sat on the ground. Yeah, yeah, it's mad. <laughs> but 
it sells and you, and I, if I was that age, I'd probably be lured into that. Yeah. And I'm so glad I built this business without Instagram because there was no, yeah. yeah, do you know what I mean? That's the issue. I mean, I even get drawn into it now and I mm. know 90% of it is bullshit because yeah, yeah, I know yeah. people doing the videos. So yeah, I exactly, know exactly. bollocks to sell stuff. Yeah. And yet I still look at it and go, oh, fuck. I love it. I love yeah, it. well, it's yeah, it, ke it keeps you motivated, but... Um, it's not real, is it? No. And comparison to FIFA Joy kind of thing. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what would you advise for, for new starters thinking about property, maybe have found this video while they're looking at starting, they're trying to choose what to do. I think you need to be really focused about what you want. Yeah. But that's hard as well when you've got a million people telling you a different thing, especially in property. That's what I loved and hated about property was there. You can be in property, that's your thing, but actually you there's can so do many 20 but that's different a, strategies. But take that as a good thing, right? Yeah, there's so it, many things to do, but what I'm saying is as well, don't one day go, I'm going to do property, the next day I'm going to do like, crypto, yeah. the next day I'm going to do something else. Have a really clear goal of where you want to be. And remember, it doesn't matter that it takes time. People say how long, it doesn't matter because it works. Yeah. That's the main thing about property, it doesn't matter how long because it works. Yeah. Other stuff doesn't always work. Do you know what I mean? It goes up and down, stock shares, all of that stuff. Property, that's why wealthy people safe as houses. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it doesn't matter how long it takes. Time goes fast anyway. When you're 21, which your new starters might be, you've got 10 years. Yeah, I know. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. And you can't, you can't go wrong yeah. in property. It's not a massive risk. And your thoughts about people that lock themselves in an office, 20-hour days, graft it for them to relax later on. My opinion is the opposite. I, I personally believe I would rather go slower and be able to do holidays, travel, spend time with family, because again, parents aren't going to be around for Yeah, yeah, months. yeah, exactly. You, know, exactly. you never know what's going to happen, whether you'll even make that exactly. end bit. Like, exactly. Where, where do you sit on that? That's why the cash flow is so important, yeah. because you can enjoy it every month, and yeah. you're not, you're not, you don't have a lump sum of 200K every month you spend, it's going down. You could start stressing about making the next bit. It's regular, it's consistent, and every month you can spend, and the next month you'll, you'll be replenished, and then you can live a nice life. Yeah. That's how I built my business. There's other ways to do property, but you can really enjoy stuff, and you get more time to think about stuff as well. So that's the way I'd say it. One thing I do like, though, is obviously, I think the old model of nine to five working is dead. Yeah. I think it's COVID killed it off, Instagram, all of that. So people are waking up to the fact that you're stuck in a system, you need to get out. It's just how, do you know what I mean? I think, I think that's a good thing about social media. How? How? Uh, passive income, I'd say. If you want to enjoy life. But how? Um, how would you how, do it? How would I do it? If you were, if you were skint today. Yeah. If I'd start again. you knew what you knew. Yeah. What I'd, uh, do I'd be doing HMOs. Buying. Buying. With investors' cash. If I didn't have cash, yeah. Yeah. With investors' cash, repaying them, keeping the asset, and um, getting the cash flow. Try and, try and get my most, most of the money back out. Would that not again. be a slow burner, though? Because you're looking at, what, six to nine months to get the start seeing the cash coming in yeah yeah skin yeah today it'd be a slow way of doing it wouldn't it if i was skin today at this age yeah. um With trust, the knowledge you've got the network what you uh, today, so i would flow. probably do a few flips okay. just from the network networks i've got build up 100k or 80k or 50k and i would probably try and get a way of getting um recurring income yeah basically that's what i'd do from rentals yeah from rentals from whatever social housing from anything rent to rent i'd do rent to rent as well yeah i'd do rent to rent yeah do, i would actually if i was skin i'd do rent to rent yeah just yeah. to just to get going in the game and then you'll get all more opportunities and stuff yeah there's, there's so many ways isn't there and i think um what's your thoughts on deal sourcing um i'd do deal sourcing but um You're just basically doing it all at this stage <laughs> yeah but what i'd do is i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't sell the deals yeah okay because i, I know i can make more money executing the deals myself okay and i know about funding and stuff now yeah. so i know that why am i going to give someone a deal for 6k when i can make even 10k because at this point you're saying i'm skint right yeah so even then now i'll give it away for even less 3k sometimes um and let them make the 10 15k but i'm doing volume got mm -hmm. loads of clients but if i needed to i'd just scale it back and do it myself but yeah it's, it's decent if you know what you're doing not not random deals but yeah um, and i try and get some residual income as well so I might um, put some money in, away into like social housing stuff where you just pay me a return kind of thing yeah. just to keep that, to pay the bills. Great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you do? <laughs> no, I actually would though, just to pay the bills. Yeah, yeah, um, 
And so I didn't spend it. There's all sorts, isn't yeah. there? There's all sorts. Yeah, um, and that's why I asked the question because it's very down to skill set, you know, what you want to do. And, yeah. that, and like I say, with property, you've got so many things. For me personally, I always say that the foundation should be a deal sourcing business because yeah. you're doing it anyway. If you're going yeah. to be finding deals yourself, some of them might not fit your criteria, yes. but it'll fit somebody else. Yeah, why? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. You've done all that work, you've spent all that time, energy, yeah. why not monetize it? Yeah, yeah, going, yeah. No thanks, no good. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, the exactly. There, and then you build up your exactly. own and then you go on to the more, like, the higher levels. Yeah, yeah. Um, that is true, but I just, just one thing about deal sourcing is don't... If I was doing deal sourcing when I started, I maybe would have given away half a million do you know what i mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That's true. so when you've it, got time you're yeah to take, taking it slower it, it, it really does it, it's so person specific as well yeah. depends on so much doesn't it yeah uh, but yeah i i think um get as much money as possible as fast as possible basically do if you, you have to have investor finance i don't no i've have never done that i've never done that Amazing. Um, only because only everything yeah um well, it took a long took many years you could probably do it in half the time no. one a year Two One a year, two a year, three a year, five a year. Yeah, I'm not, I've not got a hundred properties, so it's what I could have if I had invested yeah. funding. But it wasn't really the platforms weren't there to do it. Yeah, that's the other thing. There wasn't the, Pete. You can sell stuff on TikTok and Instagram now and build yeah. up a nice trust with people, and they know and they can follow you and trust you, which I think that you've done really well. But it wasn't really that 14 years ago. Yeah. So you couldn't really do that anyway, and I wasn't. Mate, where I'm from in Sheffield, there's not investors like milling around with a million pounds to put into property. Do you know what I mean? People are struggling to pay bills, so I didn't have access to the network. Yeah. In Dubai a little bit, but I didn't. I just I just got loans because it was easy to get loans, like two percent. So and I knew I was making like infinite returns when I was remortgaging out. So um, yeah, but I mean, for someone new, yeah, if you can raise investor funds, do it. Hundred percent. Yeah, I think I think it's a really good skill to have if you yeah. need it. Yeah. 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 So going off subject slightly, Channel 4. Channel 5. Channel 5. Everyone says that. Even worse. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you were on a... I shouldn't a, tell people, I should say, yeah, Channel 4. Uh, 2020. 2020. 2020. You were on Channel yeah, 5 yeah. as the council house millionaire. Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I've, got, I've got to admit, I commented on that before I met you. Loads of people did. Like, oh, yeah. I'd Loads of people do. I don't mind him making money, but why does he have to show off? Because you were driving around in the Ferrari, turning out, mate, rent off. Mate, it was. It, do you know what? I didn't. I didn't genuinely think it would. It went crazy that show because of probably because of lockdown. Yeah. It was like number one show for ages. It's literally like it was mad. Um, and but I would have still done the same thing because it was a celebration. Because what happened was in I was, that video, you are a fucking cocky I've, prick. I've heard that so many times. <laughs> I've heard that so. But the thing is, what you. Well, what people didn't understand was, I wasn't even in try. I wasn't even trying to inspire people. It yeah. was just a um, family celebration with my mates where we grew up from. Because what happened was, I was buying properties for so long, I didn't know how much I'd made. Mm. And then when they were producing the show, they were like, "Can you verify? Not even verify. Can you tell us what you think you're worth?" And I was like, "What? No one's ever asked me that before. I've never even thought of it." Because I enjoyed the job. We're going yeah. from job to job to job. I was living on sites. I was literally a glorified builder and I had to take like an hour to send them stuff and look into it and I was like wow you've done all right here do you know what I mean I never I didn't have a villa I didn't have cars didn't have anything and then and then I worked it out that it was actually 10 years in the business as well when they filmed the show and it just all come together organically and I was like do you know what spend a bit took my family out filmed it all so they were filming for us that's yeah. what I thought it'd be like a nice little thing to save on a DVD for us to look back on <laughs> yeah and yeah, so that's the way I bought a car and uh, splashed out. And obviously, um, that's why you see me smiling. I wasn't really taking the mick out of the councils or anything. Um, I was literally, um, do you know, like a rap video, but it was a real life. Yeah, yeah, it was like yeah. GTA. So like, like, we, we were talking about this. So what was the model then? Because it, it, it's about buying X council properties. So you're not buying them off council, are you? Or are you? Um, I bought, so yeah, they, sometimes I buy off, uh, not, not direct from the council, but it'll be ex-local authority. Yeah, fine. Which, which the are reason, the best houses, mate. I was going to say, the reason for that is they're well built, well, they used to be, well built, yeah, solid. They're not they're built, built anymore. anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, big, tall ceilings. Mate, it was, it, it, yeah, and it was made very political because they got funded, they have to do public service programmes. But re and the reality is most of my money's been made not from council properties yeah. it doesn't make a difference it's yeah. still market value it's just a property that's it's on the market but it property. used to be council yeah exactly it doesn't make a difference most of them in london are that yeah. aren't they people have made far more than me in london by uh, getting the council house and selling it for like 800 grand i didn't that wasn't 
by background. But yes, I made HMOs from ex local volunteer, ex council houses, but there's just next door wasn't, this one was. Yeah. So I don't have loads of them. Um, so what were you worth then when the video went out? When you worked it out? Um, over five mil. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. It's crazy. I didn't even, uh, and it's gone up now because of inflation and property cool. prices, but what yeah. Are you at now, Nah, I don't, <laughs> don't, don't need to say, but this villa is like yeah. two minutes, so yeah. you can work it out. But um, yeah, it's it's crazy. I did. I genuinely, did, people might not believe this or not. It wasn't a case of show off what I've got. It's literally, I can't believe I've got it. Mm. Even when I bought this place afterwards, it, yeah. the momentum was building so fast. As show came out, I got outbid for this place before lockdown. Then it just happened, they rang me up and said they pulled out, it's locked down, do you want it? I go, yeah, but I can't pay for that price. It was just building wow. up and I, I just had the money to buy it. And yeah, it's just crazy. It's crazy. Literally, like you couldn't make it up. But um, it was really nice as well because the guy who um, I built the business with. So I always think, and I'm not trying to pitch anything here, but I always think you don't need a mentor, but you need someone pushing you. You need someone who just is is kind of like beside you. Not, do you know what I mean? Like. And the guy I built this business with wasn't a mentor. He used to be an ex-crackhead. Um, he was a. Uh, he helped me build. He helped, He was a builder. Helped me with like family, and it was really nice because he saw me come from 18 to here, and do the show. All his family watched it in Portugal, and then he passed away. Oh wow! So, and I'm really glad that we got to celebrate because yeah. literally we're just going from job to job, drinking on the jobs. Like it was that kind of. Uh, mentality it wasn't anything I was like going to auctions my hood up I didn't want anyone to know what I was doing mm. people help you along the way they just were, saw me from a mile away like like helping you just because they saw me a young kid trying to make it but yeah that was a that was a beautiful thing about the documentary it wasn't about the publicity or anything I didn't need it I don't I haven't really made money apart from mentoring I haven't really it hasn't really benefited my business you know like you go on Love Island and get brand deals yeah. none of that yeah, yeah, obviously yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. I'm not going to get a the brand opposite. deal <laughs> The opposite, yeah, the opposite. I'd <laughs> loads of shit after that, but yeah, it was more for, and it inspired so many people. Like you know, like when he said, "I wish you didn't show off," right? But the opposite, I got like three, four hundred messages a day on Facebook going, "You're sick," and they're all young lads trying to make it. I even had people watching it in prison come out and say, "I watch your show. I'm doing property now." Wow! I swear, and people who didn't have anything watched it, contacted me. Four years later, you know what I mean? yeah. or Facebook. Four years later, I've got two properties now, and they, wow. they they had nothing when they started. They just got inspired, so I thought that was amazing. It is amazing. Yeah. What's, your, what's your take on mentorship and, and stuff like that on that basis? Um, I think mentorship is more important if you can afford it and if you've got money to lose, because a lot of people have got money now and they don't know what to do with it, and they're the ones who can get taken advantage of, or they can they've got money to lose and you lose money. I've lost money before even when I've been experienced. So I think you really need a mentorship. And going back to what you were saying as well, if you want to make it fast, which you can now, learn off somebody else's mistakes. Yeah. Learn off my mistakes, learn off believe, my... Do you believe that that's possible? Because the, I'll tell you why I think that. Because I think naturally we're hard-headed as entrepreneur, entrepreneurs. We think we're going to be able to do... Someone can say oh, oh, it's impossible and we'll say it's not. And we'll believe that like genuine, hand on heart, I can fucking make that happen. But what happens with that is you ignore good advice. So there's two parts to that, because I've done over 50K on mentors, yeah, yeah, yeah. education, all that stuff. And You've spent that, yeah? Hey? You've spent that on yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Over, over the years. Yeah. Um, much of it, I didn't even listen to the advice because I believed I could do it and I thought they were wrong. Um, the second part of that is, is I think you have to feel in your gut sometimes the feeling of loss. That's true. Because you, you think you're invincible at some stages. And then when, you know, when my, I was telling you earlier about my second deal that sits up, I lost over 100k on it. I, rem I can literally remember driving along in my van and that feeling in my stomach going, what the fuck am I going to do? That yeah, feeling yeah. has meant that I'm now, I've now managed to get the success because I'm shit scared of that happening again. And I know I can put these things in place. Whereas if yeah. I had gone and listened to you, yeah. as somebody further along in the line, I wouldn't have felt that. And maybe now, doing much bigger deals, I'd have gone, oh, I can do it. Yeah. And then the, the, the mistake becomes much bigger. I think, yeah. I think yours is slightly different because you're into property anyway, mm. kind of like you do like it. A lot of my mentor, uh, mentees sorry, are it's a done-for-you service. 
So I work for like footballers and stuff. They don't have time to mess about with property. Yeah. I've got business owners, GPs, footballers. They just want it property built portfolio building, yeah. which is what I do. With the one-to-one -one teaching stuff, I don't do much of it. Cool. I've deal, I'll deal source, give them the deal, and, and they'll do it. Yeah. I don't believe in, you can sit in the classroom or on a, on a, what's it called, on the courses, Zoom courses, learn and go and execute. Don't believe that. It's still gonna make mistakes anyway. Yeah. So was it worth paying for the, the course? But I, mine's more of a done for you service. The other thing is I've lost money before, but never on property, but I lost yeah. money on crypto. Ah, because, as, well, that, <laughs> not because of that, Forex, because it was a scam, but also, I was a victim of getting, oh, do you know what? Property's like a bit boring and slow. Yeah. Let me go it. make, let me go make like, so the returns promised were like 20K a month from like 50K investment. And what they did, they started paying and then it was a scam. Got, yeah, 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 Um Mate, I had the same feeling and I lost other people's money. And yeah. do you know what I had to do? I had to go and do some flips that I'd never done before. And I, I paid everyone back. Yeah. And, and um, yeah, I had to go and, focus straight on property and do what I do did best. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's something I think I'm, I'm super proud of. We've never lost anybody. Yeah, money yeah, 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 like, yeah. Even same. if the mistake wasn't ours, we made sure that that person yeah. didn't lose. Um, and, and it hurt us in the long term, which is why I'm like 11 years in now. Yeah. I'm only starting to see the last yeah. two, three years. Oh, mate, it wasn't even, um, it wasn't even meant, it was um, families who I was like, oh, do you know what, forget property, do this. And uh, yeah, lost loads of money, lost over 150 grand. Wow. But I made it back from a yeah. flip, and I was like, mate, just stick to what you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? Like, you've got it. That's the difficulty. Like, again, like, I, I had the same thing. This is boring. It's working, but I'm bored. And then you stop doing it, and then you realise that that's why. Why? It doesn't need to be yeah, fun. Yeah, 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 to be yeah, doing yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, um, exactly. That's, that's, um, you can, yeah, stuff is over glamorised, uh, but I stick to what you know. I've got the golden touch of property, so stick to it. Yeah. You know, like, the footballers I work for, they don't suddenly be go and watch a YouTube video on property and become an expert. No. Cricketer. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Do you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? They don't get bored of football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? So that's the kind of people I work for on a very small team, one to one basis. Uh, a lot of it a lot of them are in the trade as well. A lot of them are landlords with two properties and they're like, How did you get ten? Yeah. And I'm and, and I'm like, This is how. Yeah. Let's do it together and they come on board. I don't do first time buyers, people who are like not sure about property. They're not it's not the market for me really. So yeah. that's that's how I do it, really. But Sweet. Yeah. So, this is a big question, and it's um, it's something I like asking at the end of every episode, which is the biggest problem with property for you. Biggest problem with property. So, like, we get, you know, naturally we talk about the great things. Yeah, 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 yeah. What to spend know. the money on we, is the biggest we, problem. We, we, <laughs> we find out that property has a lot of shit bits as well as the good. What, what is the biggest problem? I think the biggest problem is, in the UK, right, is the perception that you get from being a landlord. Yeah, Do you understand what I mean? 100%. I mean, because if you're, TikTok, landlords are scum. If get you're, a job. yeah, it's very politicised. And at the end of the day, you post a video on property, you'll get a comment saying, you're the reason why I haven't got a property. Yeah. You get that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I get yeah, that, yeah. yeah. Uh, you're, like, you're, rent's high. Yeah, you're the reason why the housing market's broken. No, you're not. You're just, um, it's a business. If you had a hair salon, or if you had you know, any other business, people would be, you, the yeah. amount of positivity would be amazing. And, and I think it can affect you as a landlord because you feel like you are doing something wrong. Feel because guilty, of, Yeah, you, because yeah. of the political aspects of it. But... I know, I know um, people on normal jobs, like I was, 21, they've got their own property. Without me, without anyone else, even to live in, forget about buy to let, yeah. just to bought their own property. And you get people on, online going, I'm, you know, you're the reason why I can't afford a property, you're the reason why I have to save 30 years. No, it's because you don't know how to save, you'd, you'd rather go down the pub every day. And, you know what I mean? You're yeah. Not, yeah? I'd, I'd like to know the answer, though. If we didn't own the properties, what, who's going to do it? The council? Because everyone's moaning about how shit the council are. So you want more council homes that are getting left it's like in it's like in Scotland they put rent controls, yeah, and um, it didn't work, and it, it was a popular move. Everyone's yeah. like, landlords, yeah. rent controls yeah, didn't yeah. work, did they? Because nah. the people queuing in Ireland queuing up for houses. Yeah. But one thing I would say is, um, and it really does benefit me and you, is you do social housing. Yeah. It's a very niche thing. I do um, international students mostly, yeah. or professional working students okay. who can't rent from anywhere else, and 
to an extent you do because people who do social housing, uh, your tenants can't really go to an estate agent. Yep. So when the Labour government comes in and they start bashing landlords with like rent controls, it won't really affect us. No. We're very insulated. And I think that's how landlords ask me, how can I make money from a family let? You can't. One, because you're seen as a, a bad guy. Two, because the government's against you. And three, because you're going to face additional legislation. But if you're specialised social housing uh, professionals stu or students, in this, you'll make money. Yeah. And, and you stay away from all of that renting to families and you're taking advantage. But that's, that, honestly, you, you're providing a service and you get, if we had a restaurant, you wouldn't get any of that, would yeah, you? Yeah, that's why food's expensive. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's why, yeah. I want to make my own food. And I think that's, um, I think that's really bad. I think, I think it's like anything, but you're right. We do get, like, I see a lot of people doing the interviews around the street and they get, like, literally, like, I hate them, they're this, they're that. Um, and it, can affect your, it can affect your mental health. It's crazy. I mean, everyone has a problem with anyone making money, yet they yeah. don't buy off Amazon. No, yeah. Don't think about the fact Jeff Bezos is. But around this is what I'm saying. If you go to a really nice restaurant in Manchester, you're not going to go to You charge me thirty quid for a drink, a, a cocktail, and you're make you you mark yeah. up like thirty percent. Yeah. But I hate you. yeah, but a like, landlord, uh, a landlord who fixes the boiler, provides internet, provides you know. The, the, the reason, the reason from what I understand that people don't like about it is that there is no choice. You know, they need homes to live in. But then what about utilities? You need gas and electric too. Yeah, yeah, God yeah. knows what. Yeah, exactly. For no reason Exactly. Whatsoever. And I, that's the thing I don't like about property. The, yeah, that's yeah. a really good answer. Um, yeah, but apart from that, I think it's, if you can, if you can kind of get your head around that, and that's why I get out of the UK a lot as well, because you don't hear the negativity. Yeah. You don't have to see the papers, you don't have that. You can zoom out and you can build your business, so. Fair play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thanks, this mate. Really appreciate you. Nice to see you again. Round. And we'll uh, go out and have a party tonight, yeah? <laughs> Why not? <See> <laughs>